trucking with old snapper and of course this is the voice of old snapper i don't know if any of y'all have heard today but there is some breaking news that's right some breaking news but before we get into that if you're new to the channel please like and subscribe i sure appreciate all of you that do and i appreciate all of you that stop by and and uh check things out thought i heard somebody walking up on the truck but apparently not apparently not Anyway, let's get into this breaking news. It's not going to be a long one. We're just going to get right to the point here. Heartland Express will now be the eighth largest truckload carrier in the United States. Having acquired, they bought CFI's truckload unit and CFI Logistics in Mexico. They acquired this from TFI which is a Canadian company, for $525 million. A half a billion dollars they bought. the uh, Basically, the over-the-road division and the uh, Mexico division of CFI. Now, what they did not get in the deal with is CFI still has the dedicated and they still have their U.S. brokerage. So anybody, any of you listening that are running dedicated for CFI or if you work in the brokerage department, you're safe from the uh, from the merger with Heartland Express. But if you are a truckload OTR driver for uh, or a regional driver for CFI, yes, you are now a part of the Heartland Express team. Welcome to the Heartland Express team. I don't work there, but I'm going to tell you welcome anyway. Now let's talk about what this means. CFI is no stranger to buying companies. They bought interstate distributors, uh, Miles Transfer, uh, and most recently, um, Smith, Smith Transport. Now, if the past is any indication, what, what Hardland Express normally does is they will, over time, slowly liquidate that entire company, and eventually you won't see any of their trucks or trailers anymore. It takes a couple of years. Normally, after a couple of years, you don't see any more of their trucks or trailers anymore. They make the transition slow. I think that's to uh, try to keep from shocking the drivers, keeping the drivers, you know, where they don't run off real fast. But over time, eventually, you won't see. Just like Smith, over they can tell Smith Transport whatever they want to tell Smith Transport. Eventually, it'll all be Heartland. You won't see any Smith Transport anymore. Uh, look at interstate distributors. I mean... Same thing. You don't see them anymore. But at first you did. You know, so that is what's happened. And that's what's to come. Now, if I was in your position, I don't know that I'd run off. I mean, um, Heartland has its good and it's bad. I'd give it a shot, see how it went. You know, and if, and if it worked for me, then I would stay there. And if it didn't, well, then I would go on and go to work somewhere else. Um. I just think it's crazy that Heartland's becoming the next Swift. They're just buying everybody up, you know. Um, There's another company that used to do this years ago, Celadon. Celadon was horrible for buying everybody up. I mean, you go to a Celadon orientation, which I did like a full years ago, and and there'd be seven or eight different companies in the same orientation. They were all branches of Celadon. They were all bits and pieces that Celadon had, had bought. Uh, over time but anyway if you didn't know about this now you do it's going to be a short little video to let you know if you got any friends or family that work for cfi uh share this video with them and let them know what's up like i said please like and subscribe check out some of the other content i appreciate all of you be kind to one another remember we are all family out here even if we are a bit dysfunctional And drivers, let's keep trucking.